Hello everyone. In this video, I'll explain monitoring and logging options for application gateway in Azure. So let's start. I have already created application gateway and other resources which are required to deploy a website. So let's go to application gateway. There is an application gateway named AGW Dev 001. And there is one backend pool with the name web server pool is created where there is a web server with the name web server 01. So if I'll go to the web server 01, it's a 2019 windows server where IIS feature is enabled and a custom HTML page is deployed, which will show the name of the server. So let's go to Azure application gateway again. The backend setting is using protocol HTTP, which means the connection between Azure application gateway and the web server is unsecured. However, the connection between the user and application gateway is using protocol HTTPS, where I have provided the CA signed certificate for custom domain shalendra.online. So if I will go to the listener and a web server listener is created with the port 443 and a certificate is provided for shalendra.online. So if I will go to shalendra.online, this shows the name of the server where the web application is deployed and it's using protocol HTTPS. As you can see, the connection is secure. Now let's go to the monitoring section in Azure portal. And there are multiple options available. Alerts, metrics, diagnostic settings, logs, insights, backend health, and connection troubleshoot. So let's start with the backend health. As you can see, the backend server is healthy and using port 80 and the protocol HTTP. Application gateway uses the default probes for port 80 or 443 depends on which your web server is listening on and checks the health of the server. There are another option of using the custom health probes, which I have already discussed in another video. And you can find the link of that video in the description. So if we'll go to the metrics for the application gateway, there are different metrics which are available. And if we'll move the mouse, you can see the description too. So application gateway total time, this shows the total time the request has taken when it's processed and the response is sent back to the user. So I will click here and let's change it to last 12 hours. It will show the different response time when the website was hit. And because this is a lab and I'm not using this website for anything. So that's the reason there are very less traffic on it. Same way you can check backend connect time, how much time it's taking for the backend to connect, different backend response status, how many bytes are sent and received, you can check. And what are the total number of the requests you can check from here. There were around 15 requests at 3.47 PM. There are a lot of metrics which are available. So if you want to drill down or troubleshoot any issue, but if you just want to monitor the application gateway, you can go to the insights and this provides the basic metrics as well as the detailed metrics. Let's change the time range to 12 hours and it is showing capacity units were used at that time. And each capacity unit is either one compute unit or 2,500 persistent connections or 2.25 Mbps throughput. And for the application gateway, there are minimum 10 capacity units which are assigned to which the default billing is set. And if you'll use beyond those 10 capacity units, you will be charged for that. As you can see the latency from the backend server and the latency from the application gateway, all the throughput, unhealthy host count because there is only one server and it's running fine. Any failed requests. And if you want to go in more details, there's an option of view detailed metrics. There if we'll change the range to 12 hours. So you can see the performance metrics, capacity units, compute units, connections, throughput. Then you can see the latency. And there is a description also available here. And the traffic, total number of requests and the different response status for them. And the backend metrics are also available here along with the billing. So in the billing, as I mentioned, so the minimum billing capacity unit is 10, as you can see here, but if you'll use more than that, you will be charged for that. But the benefit of using the metrics option is that you can create the rule from here. So if we'll check the total request and you can see 
the total number of requests are 15. So let's create a new alert rule. Let's see if total number of requests is more than 10, then you should be alerted. Let's change it to 12 hours, apply. And as you can see over the last 12 hours during 1542, there were around 15 requests. So let's set the threshold value as 10. Check every one minute for one minute, loop back period of one minute. Set the actions as create an action group and the region is global, email, and the display name also as email. Notification type should be email name alert email to shalinda.chaudhary at gmail.com okay next action there are multiple actions which you can create while creating the alert rule you can use the automation run book or you can use the azure functions itsm if you want to create service now ticket or any different methods all these can be used here. For now, I'm not using anything. I'll just leave it blank. Review and create and create. And the action group is created. Let's select this action group. Next details. Let's mark it as severity as very critical. Rule name as alert rule as total request. Review and create and create. Now this rule will be created and if there are more than 10 hits, then I should be notified over the email. So let's open shalinda.online multiple times and let's refresh it so that it provides a lot of hits. Let's go to the insight and check the view detail metrics and total number of requests here. Go to the traffic, select last five minutes. It took only few minutes to update the metrics here. And as you can see, there were around 35 requests generated at 23.34. The response data was 300 series. And because we have created an alert rule that if the request count is more than 10, then I should be notified over the email. And I have received the alert for that. So this is the email alert looks like. The metric name is total request. It provides what is the name of the resource group and what is the value it was more than 10 so the value is 35 over the last one minute so that's how you can view the metric in the insights as well as you can troubleshoot and in the metrics you can dig deep into the different matrices which are available and you can create the alert rule also from here now for the logging option first we have to enable the diagnostic settings in this case i have already created but what you have to do is add diagnostic settings. There are three different diagnostic settings which can be enabled. One is access logs, performance logs, and the firewall logs. The firewall logs will not work in our case because we haven't enabled the web access firewall, but it will mostly be the access logs. So let's select all logs and all the metrics and provide the name and you can send it to log analytics workspace, which you have created. Though I have already created this, so if I'll go here, all the logs are going to log analytics workspace, which is created for this. And it's sending all the metrics as well as all the different logs. So if you'll click on the logs and there are some alerts and the different requests which are provided here, like the request per hour, you can check directly from here. Either you can check in the form of the chart or in the tabular form where you can see there are 41 requests which are created. One thing you have to be mindful of is this is UTC time zone and you can convert it into local time zone and it will provide the time which is in your laptop right now. Because you have created the diagnostic settings, now all the logs of the application gateway are going into log analytics workspace. So if you want to check all the access logs, you can use this query. This is a custo query because the log analytics workspace use the custo query. So let's copy it here. So it's Azure diagnostics where the category is application gateway access logs and it's, and it's sort by time generated. So let's run, let's run for last hour. 
and these are all the different logs you can open any one and check the properties different properties here so if you want to query the request per minute by uri so you can use this query so what it's doing is resource provider is microsoft network access logs and you have to summarize the count by the request uri and provide it here instead of the last hour let's check it for 12 hours and run so these are the different uris where the website was reached however i have just the shalender.online page so the other queries would have been rejected from the backend server so this is how you can check which request uri i provided by the client or by the user so if you want to check the different client ip addresses you can check it if you'll use this query it will provide the summary of request uris client ips and the request query run for last 12 hours sorry you have to select it and run and then you can see they are the different ip addresses so like this ip address provided 60 requests so if you want to block any ip address you can block it from here go to the new alert rule table rows count we are checking the count for one minute select the dimensions as client ip let's select all if the threshold value is more than 20 in one minute then it should alert so you can create the actions you can create you can select the action group which is created for an email you can go to the details provide the detail about the alert and then create it so in future if more than 20 requests are generated from any single ip address which we have selected then we will be alerted through an email so this is how you can set up an alert for all the different logs there are other options also you can check the different https status code which you can check in metrics too but there is an option to check it from here itself so uh, there were different requests which were which got error 404 some got 400 200 series and 300 but if you want to check if someone is trying to reach to your website without https protocol then you can check here so the resource type is application gateway operation name is application gateway access and ssl should not be enabled so these are the different and you can check all the details here you can filter it down based on client ip or client port or http status so using the custo queries you can customize the different alerts or the monitoring of your application gateway the last option is connection troubleshoot and as the name suggests and using this option you can do the connection troubleshooting so source is always application gateway here for the destination you can use the virtual machines in azure or you can specify the uri fully qualified domain name or the ip address and if you'll select the virtual machine like this is the backend server for us you can select which destination port it should reach on so this diagnostic test will check the connectivity as well as the network security group if the connection is blocked by a network security group or not to summarize this video we have discussed about the different metrics which are available for application gateway most of these metrics can be viewed from insights through a single pane of glass and the backend health will be monitored by default and if you want to use the custom health props then not only the port and the protocol will can be monitored in fact the url or the file can be monitored and to enable the logging, you have to set up the diagnostic settings in Azure Application Gateway. Then all the access logs, performance logs, and if in case you have Web Access Firewall enabled, then the firewall logs will also go to the Log Analytics workspace. And using the custo queries, and you can filter out all the requests and then create an alert over that. And finally, we discussed connection troubleshoot, where we can see the connectivity as well as the network security group diagnostics using this. So that's all for this video. I hope you liked it. Please like and subscribe. Thank you so much.